Hi, welcome to Aaron's World Famous. I'm Aaron. On today's episode, we're going to be making chicken tinga tostadas. Here are the ingredients you're going to need. Three large chicken breasts, two teaspoons of chicken bouillon, one teaspoon of black pepper, and one teaspoon of salt, fresh chopped cilantro, Make sure to keep your stems as you're going to put them in a broth. Tomatoes, one large onion, garlic, a teaspoon of Mexican oregano, one teaspoon of cumin, and another teaspoon of chicken bouillon, which is going to go in the sauce. Chipotle peppers in adobo sauce, tomato sauce, sour cream, refried beans, your choice of cheese. Here I have cotija and shredded white cheddar, shredded lettuce, and corn tortillas. First, you're gonna wanna start by boiling water on a medium heat. Once your water is boiling, you're going to add your chicken breasts one at a time, very carefully, so you don't get splashed with the hot water. You're also going to add a quarter of an onion, several garlic cloves, the stems of the cilantro, which I wrapped in butcher's twine to hold them together, and finally your chicken bouillon, pepper, and salt. Stir this up, and then you're going to let it simmer for about 20 to 30 minutes or until the chicken is fully cooked. Once your chicken is fully cooked, you're gonna to wanna to pull it out of the boiling broth and let it sit to cool so you can shred it. While the water is still boiling, you're gonna put in two tomatoes and let those simmer for about five minutes. After your tomatoes have boiled for about five minutes, you're gonna to wanna to remove them and add them to your blender as well as the onion that was cooking in the broth. It's okay if you get some of the garlic and cilantro in there. And also a half a cup of the broth as well. To your blender, you're going to add about half your container of chipotles and adobo sauce. Depending on how spicy you like it, you can do a little bit more or a little bit less. Next, you're going to add about one third cup of tomato sauce, your Mexican oregano, your chicken bouillon and cumin, and about a teaspoon of fresh chopped cilantro. Once all of your ingredients are in the blender, you're going to want to blend it to a smooth consistency. Once your sauce is smooth, you're going to sit it aside and then shred your chicken. Next, you're gonna heat up a skillet to medium high heat. Drizzle in a couple of tablespoons of oil. Once your oil is hot, you're gonna to toss in your onions to get them sauteed. Once your onions have caramelized and some have gotten slightly charred, you're going to want to add in your sauce. Careful to add it slowly so you don't get spattered. You're gonna to wanna to reduce the heat to about a medium low and allow this to simmer for about five to seven minutes. Once your sauce has thickened up, you're going to add in your chicken slowly and carefully to avoid splattering. Go ahead and mix it around and then you're gonna allow this to simmer for about another five to seven minutes. Next, you're gonna heat up oil to a medium heat and then drop in your tortillas, to get them to fry. You're gonna want them to be crispy, so try to hold them down flat. You can either use tongs or a spatula. I'm 
I'm actually going to use both spatula to flatten it and the tongs to flip. Once you've finished frying all of your tortillas, make sure to drain off as much oil as possible and place them on either a paper towel or a cooling rack. While they are still hot, make sure to salt them. And now to build your tostada. You're gonna start with your crispy shell on the bottom, topped with some refried beans spread out into a thin layer. Next, you're gonna do the same with a little bit of sour cream just spread that right on top as well. Next, you're gonna go in with your chicken tinga. Just kind of sprinkle it on top, make sure it's even as possible. Put as much of it or as little as you like. Next, I like to go in with a little bit of shredded cheddar, shredded lettuce, diced tomatoes, and a little bit of cotija cheese on top. And there you have it, chicken tingo tostadas. If you've enjoyed this recipe today, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and comment on what you may like to see me cook next. We'll see you next time.